Welcome back to Perfect Sound of Jacks. I'm Russ, your host, and today, another exciting video. Always trying to go above and beyond and bring you something different. And today, we really got something different. We've got a cyber truck. And this truck just got delivered from the dealership a few miles down the road. And you will not believe the work that the dealership has created for me. Let's check it out. All right, absolutely stunning cyber truck here. And I couldn't help but notice the driver, the owner just got home and we can see all of this tire shine slung all over the vehicle that the dealership put on. Yeah, not happy. Of course, we've got your typical fingerprints. We're gonna ceramic coat this entire vehicle. Windows, plastic, glass, stainless, you name it. Also, again, the back end here, you can see all of the tire shine all over this vehicle. Yeah, they made a mess for us. Wow, how much to buy it without the tire shine? Do you see it all over the back end here, all those little dots? Yeah, they weren't doing us any favors. Oh, well. Let's check out the inside. All right, I got the credit card in my, in my pocket and it's still not opening. All right, we'll pass on that one. We'll come back to it. All right, beautiful truck. We're gonna get to work and get this stainless all cleaned up, get everything dialed in. Check out the wiper blade. Yeah, that's a monster. I bet it probably costs $500 to replace that blade. Okay, so stay tuned. We're gonna get to work on this, make it beautiful. All right, as I'm doing the inspection around the vehicle before we really get started, I noticed a lot of staining here on this hood, and this is gonna come into play in just a few minutes. Um, after washing and whatnot, the staining still, still seemed to be here. And after we've washed, uh, you notice these rust dots that are all over it. This is from the brake dust, little rust spots on it, and again, that's something we're gonna address. All right, you can see we're turning purple there. Yeah, so that's the iron remover pulling the brake dust off. Okay, so uh, last night when we got in, uh, the Cybertruck had just been delivered, only had a few miles on it, and uh, had tire shine slung all over the, the panels. So this morning we washed it, we used an iron remover with a clay towel, clayed it up, pressure washed it, washed it again, did a really good job. And I don't think I caught it in the video earlier, but on the hood here, there was still a lot of, not a lot, but there were some stains in this that were just not coming out even when I used panel prep. So I'm gonna back up here. I can, I think I can just catch this line right there. Okay, so that line right there that you see, I polished this side with Barkeeper's Friend and a dual action polisher. And I was very quick about it. I did not spend a lot of time, just a couple passes and that was it. And you kind of see the line here. Now, I know that it seems to be uh, taboo to polish stainless, and I understand why. I get it. You don't want to make it shinier in one spot than the other. But the Barkeeper's Friend is a very mild polish in there, rust remover. You know, got some magic in it that seems to um, work with the stainless really well. So I used it on a soft foam pad, did a couple passes, and the stains were immediately removed, and, and you could see a slight brightening uh, uh, on it. So um, I'm really happy with the way it came out. We're gonna do the rest of the truck this way. Uh, I think it'll just make the stainless much more even so that it'll um, uh, just, just look better all the way around, take the stains out. So we're gonna hit okay, the rest so, of the So uh, this was the pad I used, Yellow Rupes. You can see the black rouge starting to build up on it. Uh, I'm not really concerned uh, too much about it. I'm gonna put a little of the barkeeper's friend on. I don't know that there's a best way to go about this, but I can see the line here I pointed out to you earlier. And I've gotta give a big shout out to Out of Spec Detailing. Uh, I've watched that guy do several uh, cyber trucks. This is the method he used. I was a little reluctant to wanna to do that because of all the other stuff talking about on the polishing. But basically, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this one again and do this here.
Okay, so not a lot of polishing. You can see how black the pad is getting on it there. So I put it on. We'll go ahead and take it off. Um, seems to come off like any other polish. Pretty, pretty easy. Not a lot to it. Um, we're going to take it off and then we're going to use our panel prep uh, two, three, four times on here uh, until we're able to wipe it without getting any of the black rouge onto the towel. But I can tell this brightens it up just a bit. Not a lot. I'm not doing a lot of polishing. I'm really just trying to even it out and take off any little stains and watermarks that were on here that did not want to come off in the wash clay process and that's okay. All right, we'll bring you back in for more. Okay, so we've got the hood lightly polished, very light. Um, wiped it down and I'm gonna bring you in and I really like the results. Very even, I'm not seeing any staining. Wiped it with panel prep many times. So I know the process that we're gonna use on the stainless. So before we do any more, we're gonna go ahead and do the glass because we're gonna ceramic coat the glass. So I wanna go ahead, since we're gonna be leaning over in order to get the glass, I wanna go ahead and do that first because we'd have to lean over the truck in order to get up to it. So we're gonna go ahead and do the glass and then we'll finish out the stainless and we'll bring you in for a little bit of the process along the way. Okay, so we went ahead and started applying the C6 Hydro Glass to all the glass because we're gonna be leaning over to get to the glass and I don't wanna mess up all the work that we've done on the stainless. So I'm gonna bring in, you can see the glass we bring in here, you can see, let me try and bring it in. You can see, see it's starting to haze up a little bit up there. So we're gonna leave it on about five or six minutes. You can see, again, you see a bit of the hazing there. So just apply it to it, we'll let it cure on there. Give it uh, five or 10 minutes. Or we're in Orlando, Florida and um, temperature's warm and humidity's high. Uh, we're on location at the customer's house. So uh, this will probably set up fairly quickly. So we'll bring you in after we're all done. Okay, so I polished the top glass. Probably didn't need to because it's new, but polished it anyway. Panel prepped it and we ceramic coated the top. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put ceramic coating on the windows on the glass here. Um, Ended up leaving it on about 15 minutes, which uh, seemed just fine, came off easy, no big deal. And again, we're using the C6 Hydro Glass. So, we're gonna go ahead and put it all over the window here. Now, besides making it uh, easy to see out in the rain, um, the other thing it's gonna do is make this glass clean up much easier um, usually you know when you're cleaning glass it seems to always leave a smudge or a streak or something and once you get it coated then it seems to uh, be very 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 easy to clean up wipe down really just just a towel and and you're good to go And I can see the C6 on here. It's pretty, pretty easy for me to see. And due to the temperature and humidity, it, it, it appears that it's setting up rather quickly because um, it, it almost appears to kind of immediately come to a haze, which is fine. Uh, and then the wipe off, which we did in 15 minutes was pretty effortless. Now the coating on the side glass and on the roof probably lasts years, years, no problem. As long as the customer can refrain from using that giant aircraft carrier size wiper blade on there, it'll last quite a long time. Okay, so I'm gonna see my cameraman kind of zoom in. Can you see, let's see if we can see. Let me back up here. You know, kind of get an angle. You can see a little bit of the haziness on there. So we're gonna go ahead and go around and do the rest of the glass. Okay, so we went ahead and ceramic coated the right side of this tonneau cover here, and you can see the line. You can see just how much richer it has made that. Yeah, quite a bit better. Okay, I wanted to bring you in and show you that we've got this drip mark here coming under the mirror. It really looks just like water and 
that's not coming off without using a little bit of polish. Uh, I've already panel prepped and a bunch of other stuff. So this is just, uh, you know, it's kind of the nature of the stainless when it's unprotected to, you know, maybe get some of this. And this is really one of the, one of the main reasons you want to ceramic coat this so this is no longer an issue. Here I'm applying the DIY metal coating to the hood and we're gonna do it to the entire uh, body of the stainless here, uh, which will provide excellent protection against all of the elements uh, that this truck is going to encounter. So right now we're going along applying it. We're gonna leave it on there six, seven, eight minutes and then go ahead and remove it. So uh, pretty simple to put on, not really a problem there. Here we're applying the uh, DIY eight year coating to the wheels. And we're gonna leave that on there probably uh, three, four minutes as well. Uh, provide some awesome protection to make these wheels just super easy to clean up uh, in the future. On all of the interior surfaces, we're using the DIY ceramic interior. And uh, we are gonna rub that in really well. I, I found as I was doing it that uh, really these surfaces seem to kind of drink it up. So we did uh, go over that quite thoroughly and we'll do a little water test on that here in, in just a minute. But it uh, didn't change anything as far as the looks go, but provides some absolutely incredible protection. And again, you'll see that in just a few minutes when we go ahead and, and do a little bit of a water test on, on those surfaces. Uh, next here, I'm going to be applying Dr. Beasley's carpet and upholstery protection. I'm gonna spray this heavy into all of the carpeted surfaces. Uh, and then I'm gonna, just using my gloves, I'm gonna massage it in once I get the sprayer nozzle going the way I want it to. Uh, massaging that in really good uh, to cover all those fabrics so that they repel the dirt and stains and that type of thing. Uh, making this really good. And we'll do a water test on this here in just a few minutes as well. But uh, going, going to apply it to all of the carpet as well as the carpeted mats that are with the vehicle uh, to keep them well protected and uh, have them resist the staining and things like that that may happen through the lifetime of the vehicle. So this is just uh, kind of a methodical massaging it in, spraying it on, really putting it on quite heavy here. Making sure that every single surface on the interior of this vehicle is covered 100%. Uh, keep it looking good for years to come. Should you happen to get any spills, it won't be a problem. Okay, our Cybertruck project is totally complete down here in Orlando. Had a great time doing it. A lot of work. Uh, working with stainless steel is definitely a little different than working with paint, but we're totally prepared for it. Everything on this truck has been ceramic coated, the metal, the glass, the plastic, the wheels, absolutely everything. And then we did, uh, we coated every surface on the inside of it as well. And I'll take you around and show you that. Came out beautiful. Uh, let me take you around and show you what we're looking at. All right, so on the interior of the Cybertruck, which is pretty amazing, quite a large screen, really nice touch surfaces here. We have ceramic coated using DIY interior ceramic, all of the leather in this vehicle, which took quite a bit longer time than I thought it would. Uh, all of the surfaces here really, really, really came out nice. On the interior carpet, and the floor mats here, if you can see it, we use Dr. Beasley's carpet and upholstery protection. And as soon as I can get the bottle of water open here, we're gonna put a little bit of water. And you can see that that water is just sitting there. It's not being absorbed by these fabric mats. Uh, Dr. Beasley is doing exactly what we need it to, making that look absolutely amazing. As we come to the door where we did the interior ceramics. I'll put a little bit of water on that. You can see that it just sheds that water right off of there. So interior ceramics by DIY doing an amazing job there. All right, so we have ceramic coated all the glass, the plastics, the mirror, all the stainless and the wheels, which as of yet, uh, I don't think Tesla's releasing the hubcaps for those just yet. Got the finish on this 
vehicle really, really nice. That is a lot of glass up there, and we ceramic coated all of that. Really made it absolutely awesome. I think the owner is going to be really happy. And we'll do a water test here in just a minute. It's been over 12 hours since we coated it. So we'll spray it down with some water and see what type of hydrophobics we've got. We ceramic coated the tonneau cover, which in itself is a fairly large project, and all the rest of the vehicle. All right, it's been over 12 hours since we applied the coating, and you can see just awesome water behavior on that stainless. Also, those plastic fenders, just amazing, really good. I'm really happy with that. And on the wheels, just repelling that water, beating up, sheeting off, doing well. We use DIY's eight year coating on that and it is doing phenomenal as is the rest of the plastic. Great water beating. Really, really happy with that. All right, if you've got a cyber truck and you're somewhere in Florida and you want to get it ceramic coated, absolutely everything protected inside, outside, give us a call. Here's the number. 904-575-0258 on the web, perfectshineofjacks.com. If you got any value out of this, uh, hit the like and subscribe button. And I'm gonna throw another big shout out to Out of Spec Detailing. That guy's on quite a few cyber trucks and uh, got a lot of good value out of his videos. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.